When Jesus came into the wilderness and we see that Satan comes to him and says, Jesus, I know that you came on this earth to do this task of saving people. But Jesus, you're the son. You're a big shot. You're a big guy. You deserve glory. You deserve fame. You deserve to be known. You deserve for your popularity ranks to be at all time high. You deserve to be the person of the year every year that you live here if you just bow. If you push the cause for which you came and accept the fact you deserve better, you will have it. And Jesus said, no, 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 no. I'm a son. But the highest task in my father's agenda is not fame and glory. It's people. And because it's the highest on his heart, it will be the highest on mine. And fame and glory, it's not going to be my most important. Wealth and riches, nicer and being coolest and nicest, that is not going to be my main thing. I am not going to be running around and kiss everybody's butt to see that everybody likes me, that Roman emperor likes me, that this governor likes me, that Herod invites me, that Pilate takes a picture with me. That is not my agenda. I know I am their boss. But when I am here, I am here to serve my father's purpose, not to please their face. And the father saw that in Philippians he said because he took my priority above everything else I will exalt his name above every name and every knee will bow at the face of Jesus Christ. It's as though father is saying when you put my priorities and put the rest of the things on the side God says I'll move hell and high water. But I will make sure that things you sacrifice will come to your life. Not because you pushed yourself by your own shoes, but because God elevated you. And when God elevates you, no devil in hell can stop you. Can somebody say amen? I want to challenge each one of you to make winning people for Jesus your highest priority. I want you to sharpen the purpose of your life. You are a son. You are not a slave. You're not weak, warm of the dust. You are not what you see in the mirror. You are special to God and your cause on this earth is not to just walk around easily offended. Everybody needs to like me. I need to live a comfortable. No, no, no. You're bigger and better than this. You have to have a cause that's sufficient to the position that you have. A cause that includes everyone. A cause that includes living a life of sacrifice. Why? Because your position is capable of handling it. Other people are weak, warm of the dust. They just, oh, I'm just, oh, I'm not, I'm not. If they cannot live like that. They need to chase fame and money because their cause is weak. You are bigger, better and greater. Your cause has to be sufficient and consistent with your position. Can somebody say amen? A lifeguard on duty. That's the message title. Saving people for a person who goes to a pool is an option. If somebody is drowning most of the time you will not pay attention because you don't know whether they're having fun or they're drowning. If you are a swimmer in a public pool your response to everyone who's ah, help help is none of my business. I don't know you and I don't want you to sue me after this. When you are in a public pool you are there to have fun but when a lifeguard is in a public pool he is there to look at every single person intently. He can't be checking his Instagram. He can't be checking latest tweets and the funniest cat videos on Facebook. He has to be checking quickly and looking who is drowning. A hundred people in the pool and everybody's having fun but his eyes are going to and fro the pool looking who is drowning. Lifeguard on duty. Saving people is not an option for him. Saving people is his job and if he won't save people he commits a crime. Many times as Christians we develop this worldly mindset that to save people, invite people, pray for people, make it our mission, go to school of leaders, home groups. Well that's an option. If I develop this radical personality, if I become socially really rich person then I will go do something about that. Well for Jesus he did it because well Jesus had nothing else to do but I'm a busy man. Really? 
if the God who made this earth didn't think saving people was least important you a little ant I who's a little ant walking on this earth should at least elevate his priority to the value he placed it on them you are a lifeguard to your family to your generation to your neighborhood and to your city